This is our bone, huh? Huh? Money long, money long, who be gone? Drink it, hold it, strong, drink Money long, my money long, I'll put me gone, go, rest in peace, tall, hold it, trap it on the seat, nigga, wait on the Let's talk about, let's talk about us. Let's talk about us. What about us? Mmm. First night we met each other. Oh, how we met? Story time. Okay, so back in the day, I was a sophomore. Why am I? Why am I? Saying? I know the fucking story. I was a sophomore in college, right? I don't know what was that, 2013, whatever. And you know, you know the gay world, whatever. Anybody be on them dating naps, right? And it was late at night. And I was scrolling, you know. I was scrolling, whatever, just to see who the fuck I could see, because grown people stuff. You know, people say I gotta be more PG thirteen. You know, we got kids watching us. Um, I'm trying to respect Mike and his wishes, whatever, because you know he's a teacher now. So anyway, Mike, I'll try to be as PG thirteen as I can. So, we were scrolling for grown people stuff, whatever, and I came across this little black, Asian, white looking boy, whatever. This one. This one's beautiful. I know. And the picture was kind of cool. Do you remember what picture it was? No, I don't. You had on like this, you were standing in your bed, and you had on like this white, long sleeve shirt, whatever, like a wintertime shirt, like a, um, um, Whatever the fuck it's called. You was like trying to pose and shit, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he hit on that. And I said, hmm. I said, he look kind of cool, whatever. Let me just see what the fuck. Let me, let me just see what he talking about, whatever. So I forgot what I said. But regardless of what I said, I got him to come over. He didn't want to at first. But he came over. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but he was like, I'm going to come over. But I ain't getting out of my car. <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's cool with me, whatever. You know, I want people stuff happening in the car all the time. So, uh, we, we, I went out there to the car, whatever. We sat in the car for a minute, though. And um, we was talking, blah, 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 whatever. And he was ready to go. Because, I don't know, I guess he want to take shit slow, whatever. He was ready to go. Uh-huh. And But while we were talking, I didn't want to do anything anyway. I was just cool. We just had a dope conversation. You know, this conversation was cool, whatever. So we were, just, we were just talking, vibing, kicking or whatever. So then I had invited him to come in the house. And he was like, no. I'm like, real, why not? Why not? Or you don't want to come in. Like, we sit out here in the car. It's October, so it's cold as fuck. Let's go in the house. <laughs> and he was still telling me no. I'm like, bro, I got my dad's car right there. I got my mom's car right there. What the fuck is going to happen? Like, nothing's going to happen. Like, bring your ass in the fucking house. Quit playing with me. And he was supposed to say no. I'm like, bruh, look, my birthday is tomorrow. Bring your ass in the goddamn house. We gonna kick it. You gonna tell me happy birthday. You gonna be the first one to tell me happy fucking birthday. He didn't believe me. So I took my wallet out and showed him my ID. The ID said October 17. Remind you, when he came over, it was October 16th. I said, see, I said my birthday is in like an hour. Bring your ass in the goddamn house and tell me happy, happy fucking birthday. I, was I wasn't cussing, shit. but you know. So he said, all right, cool, I got him to come in the house. You know, I had to, I kind of had to, you know, charm him a little bit. We went in our house and shit. We on the couch watching TV and stuff. We talking, you know. Um, conversations came up. Mm-hmm. I got to be PG-13 because Mike said I talk too much. And I talk too much of my business. So I'm trying to listen. He said, I don't listen to him. Mike, this is me listening to you. This is me doing what the fuck you said. I'm cussing still. That's okay. So... You know, the boy had to, you know, the man had to, you know, put the put the charm on. You know, I had to get the smiling, you know, get the flexing a little bit, you know. Yeah. You know, laying back, trying to be all cool and shit, whatever, you know, you know. Um, you look cute or whatever. And, you know, we got the, um, we didn't do the whole thing, whatever. We didn't do all that. You know. Um, but <laughs> um, I'm trying to say the story without, you know, making Mike mad. So we tried to kiss him, whatever. And then we had, he was about to leave. No, started kissing and stuff. And then my dad had come downstairs. And now my dad, cool, whatever. He was like, who is this? I was like, this is, I was like, this is Dre, whatever. He said, what up, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. He left. And then when he left, then, 
we started um, adult stuff a little bit more, but not too much, you know. First night, you know, yeah. Jay was trying to be a good boy, but at the yes. time, I was not a good boy. I was trying to hold out. Mm, it didn't work because he was dealing with me, mm. so you can't not you can't hold out when you're dealing with me, especially when I'm in that state and I put the moves on you and shit. So. That possibly happened. That happened. <laughs> so another hour go by, whatever, and I'm like, it's my birthday. I mean, happy fucking birthday. And he did. And, you know, birthday presents and stuff. So now it was like whatever o'clock in the morning. I don't really remember. So he's about to leave, and we started kissing again in the kitchen. And I remember it was something about that last kiss, whatever. I was like, oh. I was like, damn, I really like you. He started smiling. He was like, what? And I said, no. <laughs> it was something about that last kiss, boy. I said, you put it on. I said, mm, I like you. For real. Like, full fucking real. I like you. So he left, whatever. And he texted me that night. And we was talking and stuff. And then, a few weeks later, I texted him. And I was like, I want you to be my boyfriend. He was like, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Me? Out of all people, me. Right. So consider yourself very lucky. Oh yes. Very lucky. Very. So then you know it became official. And no, he said, "I am no one else's. I'm yours." Who said that? You did. By who? By me. He said, "I'm. I'm not going to be with nobody else." Is that fuck exactly? Mm -hmm. And that was back in 2013. And. Five years later, who fucking calls you to sit in one? He was like, you can't talk to nobody else. I was like, why? What the fuck do you, because you, who else do you, the fuck do you need? Right. I mean, who else do you need, though? I learned that as time went on. And he's a lot to handle. He Wait, was. I like this cute face for you. <laughs> this man right here, oh my God, this <laughs> shit that we've been through, man. Yeah. We ain't gonna get into all that. Yeah. Just know. We went through normal folk business. That's what we did. What everybody else in the world is going through, we did. And more. Mm -hmm. And it's alright, though, because we're here now. Um, we're friends. We're friends. Yes. Friends first. Before anything. There ain't gonna be nothing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Seriously, I got options now, baby. All I'm trying to say is we got options. Oh, uh, here's a tip for any of y'all. Light skin, smile, nice teeth, and you can sing. So, if you seen my What Kind of Guys I Like video, and I said all that shit, you would think I was describing him, but I wasn't. He's just fit in the category. That's all. Because you break up with me three times, that's it. I kind of did. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of breaking up and getting no, back No, no, you did a lot of breaking up. <laughs> I, did the, I, I did the getting back together. The breaking up was yes. on your end. Oh, yeah. Every time. Take a bow. <laughs> anyway, okay. end of my video. End of it. End, end, end it. Oh, so, um... No, that's not how you end it. <laughs> what do I say? You gotta call the action, and you gotta do our closing. Okay, call the action, as in, take me back to... No, make class. sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> watch all of our previous videos. Make sure you watch all of our new videos. I love all the new people. I love all the original people. All my millionaires. I'm gonna call you guys millionaires because you know what? Let me tell you something. Even though we don't got million subscribers, we got a thousand fifty nine. I feel like we are at a million already. Yeah, you guys make me and Mike feel so filled on the inside that I feel like we are already at a million. Yeah. You know. So you know, this is a thousand fifty nine. You guys are our million subscribers. We love you guys. So you are. Um, I don't know what Mike think. But I'm gonna call you guys millionaires because one, we are millionaires. Two, we're gonna be millionaires. And 
That's who we are. You guys are my millionaires. So, yes, I say Every Day We Lit. Yes, and Every Day We Lit, also, I want to say that you guys can check out my album, Drifting Melodies. It's on all digital platforms. Okay, so basically, I have an album that I just released, and a lot of it is about him, actually. In our past, and our situation, it helped me create a masterpiece of an album, and it's called Drifting Melodies. It's on all digital platforms by me, Darvon, D-A-R-V-O-N. Haha. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. You don't do it right. <laughs> every day we lit. Yeah. yeah. Every day we lit. Yeah. You can't tell me shit. Yeah. Remember I was broke. Yeah. Now I'm getting rich. Yeah. yeah. When you diamond colder than a bitch, then you know you lit. When you quick to take a nigga bitch, then you know you lit. Every day we lit. Yeah. Every day we lit. Yeah. Every day we lit. Yeah. Every day we lit. Yeah.